girl Garabu Lamini, the answer to all your prayers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now on this channel we're all about good times, good vibes and good chats and so if that's what you're all about and you're looking for some great content, definitely do join the family by subscribing, turning on your post notifications so you're notified every single time I upload a video, giving this video a very big thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment down below because that lets me know what you think, baby. Renali intro encha. We have got a new intro. Sine intro encha. Get a bon. Yes. We are battering labels. We have upgraded. Fun fact, this intro is actually temporary. Um, I just grew very like tired of the old one. I didn't like it anymore. Like I was really like, yeah, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, So I decided it was time to upgrade. And it was also in honor of celebrating 300 subscribers i know that is not a big number but it is a milestone and on this channel we celebrate every single milestone so to everybody that's been subscribing to everybody that's been watching all my videos i really appreciate you thank you so 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 much this intro is for you this is my thank you gift to you thank you so much the song that you guys hear on my new intro is by docs rsa guys that chant is so amazing like he's so amazing please do go stream his music on spotify like um you can google the link to his music as well i'll put it in the description box um i'll also put his name in the description box but guys he is really like he's the next biggest thing in SA. like i don't think you guys were ever ready for this change hey because he's really good at what he does man and i'm just so excited for the, like, the things that are coming you know his way anywho before i actually get started with today's video i have to ask to ask you guys um i well this is more for the girls to be honest the gents who actually watch my videos this one won't necessarily apply to you guys um but yeah to all the females who be watching my videos um we are i want to i want to grow in different directions and different dimensions right in terms of like this channel and the content that i produce and put out there um so i would like to create more lifestyle um you know content but I don't want to create that if you guys aren't even interested in it. So if you guys are interested in seeing more lifestyle content on my channel, lifestyle content being like, you know, like get ready with me's, um, try on hauls, um, more vlogs, um, and that kind of thing, please do let me know because I would love to actually know that you guys want to watch that, you know? So yeah, drop me a DM, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think about that, so let me know if you guys would want to see that on my channel, or you guys are okay with the like, content that I've been putting out already. And to everybody who sent me DMs um, after my story time, um, just telling me how they love how the channel is growing and like the quality is improving and all of that. Thank you so much, guys. You know, like those DMs and those messages really make such a big difference. Like, I don't think you guys understand. After seeing, because I've got quite a few of those, like people are like, girl, I love how, um, you know, your content is improving. We can see that you're putting in so much effort this year. Guys, when you send me stuff like that, it really means the world to me. Like, I'm, I'm really grateful for everybody who's just stuck by this channel since the beginning. Like, I don't think you guys will ever understand how much you guys actually really mean to me. So, thank you, and again, Tanda. Anywho, I said to boom, into today's video. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure you guys already know by the title of this video that we're doing the assumptions tag in Hey, and it's the neighbors because, hey, I was reading through some of these, and y'all really think I'm some kind of a freak. Like, you guys think I'm wild, honestly. Um, I'm going to be drinking, this is water, with um, water flavoring, so yeah, that's mango flavored flavoring, but yeah, it's just water, nothing special, so yes, without any more talking, let me actually just get started, like what the hell, oh, so I posted the thing on my Instagram story, so if you don't follow me, make sure you go follow me at kar dot b o o underscore um, on Instagram and what's the other platform? Oh, on Twitter, it's at Karawi in 15 Make sure you follow me on those social media platforms so you guys are always in the loop of what's going on with my content and all of that stuff. Okay, yes, right. So, the very first assumption is you always tell people where to get off. No, I tell people where to get off when I need to. 
So I won't just tell you where to get off if I couldn't eat Darabao. You know, like who does that? Are you mad? You must have scaled me for me to tell you where to get off. You know, I can't just come at you. I'd be crazy if I did that. I'd be concerned, actually. But yeah. Next one is you belong to the streets. Honey, you must be mistaken because the streets belong to me. Did they not tell you? <laughs> Baby, the streets belong to me. They belong to me. Like, come on, switch up. Where have you been? <laughs> the next one is you don't fall in love because what is that even, honey? I fall in love all the time. Let me tell you one thing about me, child. I'm always going to be a clown because I always fall in love. It takes me like a while to get to that point, but once I do, believe me, I'm going to be a gun, honey. And, you know, me, let me tell you something about me. You will hear me saying, ah, oh, men are this, men are that. Oksalayo, I am still going to love that man. So listen to me, but listen to me at your own risk. Next one, you're mean. No, I, I don't think I'm mean. I think I am brutally honest. And to some people, that may be mistaken as being mean. Um, I think I always speak the truth and I always speak it how it is. But one thing that I've been learning is that we don't all, you know, take things the same way. Just because I can handle the truth however it's told to me doesn't mean the next person can handle the truth however it's told to them. Some people need you to nurse their feelings, you know? Um, which honestly is just very time consuming, to be honest. I just wish as human beings we could all just accept the truth the way it is. So with some people you need to be a little bit a little bit more sensitive when telling them things or saying things to them. So it's one thing that I've been trying to work on. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm mean. I think I'm just very honest. That's what I think. The next one. Okay, these two are actually quite the same. So I'm going to read them at the same time. Bari. Mabashu bona. Bona. You're secretly within Mcholo. You're cuffed. Where? Bazalwan. I am. Am I? Or maybe I'm not. I am. Asas. Find out in the next episode of Ditabata Karab. Next. <laughs> You're very assertive. Yes, I am. Very much so. Um, next one is your low key sensitive. Let me give you guys a quick story time. It's not really a story time, but it's just a little bit of a, you know, some context. I'm giving you context. That's what it is. Um, for a very long time, like very long time. When I say long time, I'm speaking about a good 16, 17 years of the 18 years that I have been alive. Um, <laughs> I was very emotionally disconnected. Um, I never really felt anything like. There's things that, like, you know, things that happen that you expect people to kind of feel some sort of emotion after going through and that kind of thing. I never really, like, had that. Um, I was just very emotionally disconnected. Um, I never really felt anything. I was just me, to be honest. Like, I could, I could, like, you know, try and understand certain, try and understand, like, certain emotions and that kind of thing but i could never really experience them um i can't even tell you why to be honest like i i really i don't know i don't know why i was like that so when 2019 started um obviously i pray at the beginning of the year i pray for the year ahead and that kind of thing right the one thing i prayed for was for god to just allow me to feel again like i wanted to be able to just feel i wanted to be in touch with my emotions because i wasn't at all like at all right um and man that year god really put me down here like i revisited incidences that happened a very long time ago in my life like i visited incidences that happened when i was a child like a good six-year-old um, because I never really felt anything when those things happened. So I revisited those incidences so I could actually experience those emotions. And I'm so grateful for that year because honestly speaking, like 
I feel like that I needed that. I feel like had I not broken down that year, had I not gotten to a place where I can actually, um, you know, express and experience emotion in a healthy manner, it would really have affected me in the long run. Um, so I'm glad that that happened when it did. Um, and pretty much, I'd like to say that now I'm in a good place emotionally. Like I'm, not, I, I, I honestly can't say that I'm sensitive. <laughs> I really can't say that I'm sensitive because I don't think I am. Um, but I can say that I can experience emotions when I need to. So when I need to cry, I will cry. When I need to be upset, I will be upset. When I need to, you know, like my emotions are in order. Yeah. Next one is you've got a strong personality, but once people get to know you, you're actually a softie. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's very true. Um, I think it goes hand in hand with the question that was, I mean, the assumption that was before this one, but yeah, it's very much true. I'm just a big teddy bear, guys, honestly. <laughs> um the next one is you act like you're fine but deep down you want to be baby well oh yo i really just want to be babied like man i'm i'm not asking for a lot just baby me man come on the next one is you love zulu men no no i don't <laughs> and I don't mean that in a bad way. Hey, before I get attacked, hey, love these Zulu men. So before you guys come at me, I have nothing against Zulu men. I would still date a Zulu man. But personally, my preference has always been um Tswana and Sutu men. Simply because those men know how to take care of themselves. But more so, they know how to take care of women, guys. Oh, Indo Dayomizwana, guys. Hey, yes, Nagayela Naido. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, guys, those men love themselves. Not only that, but they love their partners as well. Corre. And I just love that in a man. So that's why my preference has always been so an answer to men. Um, the next one is. You like to be in control of what's going on around you. Um, I wouldn't say I like to be in control. I like to have a feel for things. So I like to have a feel for what's going on. So that if ever I need to like, you know, react or whatever, I I almost knew that that would kind of happen. I don't think what I'm saying, but chest. I mean what I mean. And so so I'm gonna stand up and you now. <laughs> The next one is you love in nice time. Where Kelly? Hey Kelly. I need to do nice time. Shall me, me. I love nice time. Like honestly, like how do you not love in nice time? And you know, for me, in nice time isn't just groove or whatever. Like listen, I love groove. Groove is nice, guys. But just being in an environment that is vibes for me is just everything like i love to be around people so in nice time is my thing yes next one is you're confident because you know you're a boss ass chongalala dingu that girl i am that high you know yes um i'll tell you what though i wasn't always like this um, for a very long time, I was for a good seven years, I think, very, very insecure, very like it was bad, like it was bad. But I do plan on doing a separate um story time about that. Um, there's a lot of content coming away, hey, like there's a lot of content coming away. I will talk more about it in that video, so I don't want to go in depth about it now, but yeah, for a very long time, I was not confident whatsoever like it was like it was bad like it was yo oh, to a point where like i just hated the idea of being me like literally like i would just ask myself like why can't i be pretty like other children like god why did you do this to me why do i have to look like a, a stupid goat when other people look like dolphins i don't even know if that makes sense but you get the point but recently honey I've been loving me more than ever. Like, I am 
V girl and honey. <laughs> you cannot dispute that. Okay? Yes. Next time is you're always laughing. All the time, all the time, all the time. Laughter is good for you, baby. Next time is this is not an assumption yet a fact. You're very kind. I love it because it's competing the person who said I'm mean. I hope you see that other people think that I'm very kind. Okay? Yes. Guys, I honestly think I'm such a kind person. Like, I just think that people think because I've got a big personality, I can't be a nice person. Like, I honestly think that that's the problem. Like, I think people automatically make this idea of you in their heads when you've got a big personality and they already tell themselves that you're very rude, you've got an attitude, you're mean, and that kind of thing, which is not true, guys. Honestly speaking, I really think that I'm a nice person. Like, I really do. Personally. The next one is your top tier high. Come on! Say that again so they can hear you loudly. Barry, you're a top tier hun. Definitely. I am a wholesome hun. I am a top tier hun. I am just that hun. Okay? Yes. Come on. Your hun could never. Because why? I'm me. I don't know what that was. I'm a top tier hun. And that's all. Period. Next one, you're rich. Listen, honey. Listen, honey, I will not dispute that because I will be. I will be rich. Gizoba, nine man. Very soon. Give me time. Give me time and I will be rich. Give me some time and I'm going to be rich as do. We love to see it. Awa, king You're a freak in the sheets, but a saint in the streets. My brother. Are you some kind of rapper? Because if you were trying to drop bars for me, you should have just said so now. Huh? You, you could have just said, I want to drop some bars. And that would have been okay with me. Because what is this that you are saying? Explain to me for five marks. What do we call this? Hmm? Behave. Next one. You only date rich gents. No. I have never dated a rich gent, actually. <laughs> Fun fact, I've never dated a guy who is rich, rich. Like, yeah. Um, the guys that I, I date are comfortable. I date guys that are comfortable. I'll tell you why. Um, I once had a... I, I didn't date this guy. But we had, like, a situation ship almost. Um, and he was, like, he was moneyed. Very moneyed. But... He always just had the sense of entitlement. Like, you know, it was like always a thing of mom fun I can, you know? And I don't like people like that. Like you've got money, I'm happy for you, but don't be that person. I hate, hate with my whole heart, I hate it when people are, you know, they want you to see them. Like my fool like, yeah, man, I got a Gucci bag, man, I got a Rolex on my wrist, man. You know, I hate that. I hate it. Um, also men with money most of the time, and I'm not, it's not all of them guys, it's not all of them, but a lot of men with money just have this idea that they can have whoever they want, whenever they want. They just have that sense of entitlement. So for me, I prefer someone who's comfortable, who's got a vision and who has ambition and know where they are headed in life. I prefer to build with you rather than finding you. So I keep it there because men you build with will always remember you and they'll always respect you, you know, because you were the hand that held it down for them when they were still in the building stage. Men who are already built have this thing of, she doesn't know what I went through. I don't owe her that respect. They'll, most of them just don't respect you, you know, and I don't like that. I'm, I'm not for that. So I prefer a man who, who knows where he's going and will make it there together. So that's the kind of person that I am. Um... The next one is you're very forgiving. Too much. Too much. Um, and I'll tell you why I say this. The amount of things and the amount of people I had to forgive um, silently, like in the background, that they don't even know about. You, <laughs> can I tell you something funny? There's people who are extremely close to me that have done me so dirty until today, they don't think that I know. Like, they don't think that I know about the things that they've said, the things that they've done, like, behind my back, of course. They don't know. But I know. I know. And 
you know what, man? I think in 2019 as well, like, I chose my piece always. You know, um, for a very long time, I always wanted to act to stuff. Like, I was that girl. People who've known me for a very long time can tell you that. I used to react to everything. If in any way or form you were coming for my character, you were coming for the person that I am, and you were just coming for me, listen, hey, I would not give you the time of day. I will put you in your place same time. I used to be that girl. I used to be that hand. Like, I didn't take crap at all. I didn't take nonsense. I still don't, but I know how to choose my piece. If it's not worth my time, if it's going to mess with my peace, if it's going to mess with my well-being, I just choose to let it go, you know? So there's a lot of people that I've had to forgive in the background. Um, and it was difficult, man. <laughs> I think it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do to date. Like forgiving someone and them not even knowing that you know that they did you dirty. And I just had to make peace with it. Like I had to, you know, I had to, I had to tell myself that when I forgive these people, I don't forgive them for them. I forgive them for me. I forgive them for my well-being. Because once I forgive you, that weight is lifted off my shoulders. Because I let it go and I forget about it, you know. Whereas if I have to come and look at you every single day and just remember what you did to me, I'm never going to be at peace. So I just had to learn that when I forgive people, I forgive them for me, not for them. Um, so yeah, I'm very forgiving. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The next one is you stay true to yourself no matter what. And that's on what? On period. There is nothing better than being your authentic self always. I'll tell you why. The more you have to pretend to be somebody that you're not, the more people actually see who you're putting up in front. Not only that, why, why the hell would I want to be somebody that I'm not when I'm this amazing? Uh, uh, come on. And <laughs> no, I'm joking. But honestly, I just think it's time consuming, it's unnecessary, it's too much stress, it's too much effort to try and be somebody that I'm not. So I'd rather just stick to who I am. If you love me, you love me. If you don't, you don't. That's just how it is. And I'll tell you, there's no gray areas with me. People either really love me or they don't. Like, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm not that person where you can in between me. Like, oh, sometimes I like her, sometimes I don't. Yeah, you either love me or you hate me. That's just, I think it's because of my personality. I think, yeah, there's no gray areas. <sighs> There really isn't. The next one is your confidence level is on a whole new level. Okay, I think this one is more or less, excuse me, like the one that I answered earlier on. So I'll move on from that one. This one says you're a gold digger. I would just like to know what gives you that idea? Like what makes you think that I'm a gold digger? Um, yeah, honestly, because I want to answer this, but I don't want to, okay, let me just try to answer this the best way that I possibly can. Firstly, let me educate. That's what I'm going to do. When someone, right, or a female specifically, actually, when a female, um, you know, lives comfortably and whatever the case is, Never assume that it's because of a man. Never assume it's because she's leeching off a man. Because most of the time, that's not the case. Firstly, I'm very young. You know, um, like, the life that I live, honestly speaking, is sponsored by my parents. You know? So, I don't know if... I, in that case, maybe yeah, I'll be a gold digger. I'm digging my parents' gold. We can put it like that. But, yeah. I, just, I, I would honestly just like to know what what gave you that idea what made you think i'm a gold digger like you know now it's not even a thing of like i'm touched i'm not really touched <laughs> i just want to know like what makes you what in your mind gave you that idea the next one says you're very funny oh child let me tell you something I don't think I'm funny. I just think it's my personality, man. I think that the things that I say, I don't really think before I talk. I'm not even going to lie, hey? Like, I think that the things that I say just make people laugh. That's really all that it is. Like, honestly. Right. Okay. 
The next one says, you started YouTube because you wanted money. No. That's not why I started YouTube. If you watch my first video, you'll, you'll know why I actually started this whole YouTube thing. Right? Right. The next one says, you come from a very privileged family. Definitely, I do. My parents have worked very hard for the life that I and that they live. So, I'm super grateful. Very, very grateful. Um, the next one says, we are cool. Um, yeah, I do actually. I do sing. Um, I do sing. Um, you guys will be seeing a lot of that this year. You guys will be seeing a lot of me this year, actually. Like, <laughs> 2021. I'm coming for it all. The next one says, you're very driven. Definitely, I am. And the last one says, you don't take bull she. Um, yeah, true. I don't. I don't. I don't like being walked over. I don't like being made emits. That one, it's not like that people just tinted their feet on before they walk into the house. I don't like being that person. One thing about me, I value respect so much. And respect is definitely a two-way street. So I can't disrespect you and expect you to respect me, you know? Um, but I hate being disrespected. I hate being walked over. Don't make me a fool. Like, that's really what it comes down to. Like, don't make me a fool. Like, I'm not stupid, you know? So don't treat me like I am. But yeah. Anyways, we finally come to the end of this video, Bazalwane. Before you leave, just before you leave, make sure you watch the outro. And don't forget to go and stream Doc's RSA's music because that man, that man is the next biggest thing. And I'm telling you guys to watch out for him. Don't you sleep, honey. Don't you sleep. Don't be sleeping on the boy because he's going to be doing the most. Anywho, from me to you, it's nothing but love, baby. And so they